Welcome to the Ankara Yildirim Beyazıt University Soil Mechanics Laboratory. This video will demonstrate how to conduct a mechanical sieve test for soils where 99% of the grains pass through the number 4 sieve. The relevant ASTM standard is ASTM 6913, Particle Size Distribution of Soils, using sieve analysis. The purpose of this test is to, is to determine the percentage of different particle sizes for the coarse grained fraction of the soil. This is the fraction of the soil larger than the number 200 sieve or 75 microns. A stack of sieves and a sieve shaker are needed for this test. The stack of sieves we will use today are the number four sieve, the number 10 sieve, the number 20 sieve, the number 40 sieve, the number 60 sieve, the number 140 sieve, and the 200 sieve. The sieves must be stacked in order with the opening sizes decreasing as you go down. There must be a pan at the bottom of the stack and a lid at the top. The number of the sieves are written uh, in black marker on the sieves themselves. Other apparatus needed to conduct this test are the balance, soil containers, and a spoon, a tray as well. The first thing that must be done is to prepare a representative sample size. Uh, here in the tray is about 400 or 500 grams of clean uh, mixed sand, well graded sand. Based on ASTM for a soil with 99% of particles passing the number 4 sieve, a minimum of 75 grams of soils are needed. The size of the sample should not be more than 50% larger in order to prevent overloading of the sieves. In order to reduce the soil sample size, you will need to use the method of quartering. For this method, you will need a tray and a spoon. Pour your air dry or oven dry sample approximately 400 to 500 grams into the tray and mix thoroughly. We have already done that. Uh, you can see the soil in the tray. Create a pile in the middle of the tray such that all parts of it appear to be homogeneous. You have created your pile. Use your spoon to split the soil into four equal parts. Select one of these parts for testing. Place all of the soil in one quarter into a bowl of known weight. Record the weight of the bowl.
place uh, the soil into the bowl and weigh. The next thing that must be done is to determine the tear weight of the sieves to be used. There are seven sieves in the stack to be used today. You must inspect each sieve prior to using it. You must check that the sieve mesh are not damaged and that there are no holes. You should also use a soft brush or your hand to dislodge any soil particles stuck in between the sieve openings. Be extra careful when cleaning the number 200 sieve as this sieve is very sensitive and can be easily damaged. Do not use a hard brush on this sieve. In the third step we will uh, sieve the sample using a mechanical sieve shaker. Make sure your sieves are stacked in the correct order and that you have a pan at the bottom and a lid at the top. Remove the lid and pour all of your sample into the top sieve. Replace the lid and now take your stack of sieves using both hands and take it to the mechanical sieve shaker. On the mechanical sieve shaker, first raise the holding bar and use the black screws to fix it in place near the top. Then, using both hands, place the stack of sieves into the sieve shaker. Be sure to center the sieves on the bottom platen. Lower the holding bar so that it is in contact with the top of the lid and center it so that the sieves are held straight. Then tighten the screws on the holding bar such that the sieve stack is held firmly in position. You should shake your set of sieves for three to five minutes. For today's test, one minute will be sufficient. This is a deviation from the standard. Set the timer for one minute and wait. When shaking is complete, raise the holding bar and remove the stack of sieves for weighing. In the fourth step, you must weigh each sieve uh, with its contents. So weigh each sieve with the retained soil starting with the top sieve and record the measured value in your data sheet. Once you have weighed a sieve, empty its contents into a tray. Once you have completed weighing all of the sieves, calculate the weight retained, percent weight retained, and cumulative percent weight retained, and lastly, the percent passing for each sieve. For the calculations, um, the weight retained on each sieve is the difference between the weight of a sieve together with its contents minus the tear weight of the sieve. You should calculate the weight retained on each sieve and record it in the correct cell in your data sheet. Dividing the grams of soil retained by the initial total dry weight of the sample 
and multiplying it by 100 will give the percentage of soil retained on each sieve. The cumulative percent of soil retained is the sum of the percent soil retained on that sieve plus those retained on all sieves above it, or all sieves with larger opening sizes. In other words, in your data sheet starting at the top sieve, you must sum the percent retained values as you go down. The percent passing is calculated by subtracting from 100 the cumulative percent retained on each sieve. You should look at the example shown to fully understand the method.